And those of you who are with us for our ringside bout that featured Frankie Warren winning by decision over Ronnie Shields, you're aware that the judges' scores round by round were announced to the crowd. And of course, we passed them on to the television audience. In this fight, the judges' scores will be passed on to us. The crowd will not be aware of what uh, is taking place, but we will supply uh, the official scoring round by round as the fight progresses. And of course, that means the fighters and the corners will not know. Therefore, to them, it's just another television fight. And to the audience for NBC and our uh, crack staff, it is the second part of this afternoon's experiment. This is scheduled for 10, Meldrick Taylor. 19 years old, out of Philadelphia. Record of 11 0, 7 by KO, going with the left hand up high on Harold Grazer, a 30 year old from South Bend, Indiana. Works in an automobile body shop when he's not training for a fight. 35 and 6, 22 by knockout. Got off to a rocky start in his professional career, but he has won his last 20 and has taken a pounding here in the early moments from Melvin Taylor. Uh, he's a KG veteran. He's on a uh, roll of 20 straight victories with 13 knockouts. And uh, he has a flashy right hand. His last three or four fights have been very, very nifty outings. And he has been able to connect repeatedly with the right hand. Let's see what he does to Meldrick Taylor. This young Olympian has flashing reflexes and should not be, be hit flush with that punch. That is time remaining in this first round. We're down to a minute 10 left. And Taylor opening quickly. Taylor's big drawback when he turned pro was that he punched too fast and was losing some of the steam. Georgie Benton had to tell him, calm down. You don't have to punch 200 times. Just get it down to around 50 hardwoods. Patrick Taylor comes off a bout of Madison Square Garden in New York back in early April, stopping Jose Rivera in the fifth round. His previous fight last February, right here on NBC, winning that unanimous decision impressively over Robin Blake. Taylor made his pro debut at the Garden in New York in November of 84, opening with a first round knockout of Luke Lecce. And that will do it for round one. Fraser coming out for round number two. Fight Doctor scorecard had a 10-9 for Melbourne Taylor. A greeting with the three judges. And we'll pass on the scores round by round. In the corner. Fraser's corner very calm and clinical. They said let him blow out some steam and then just start jabbing more and showing him some more feints. the uh, scoring rundown from the judges a unanimous 10-9 round from Melvin Taylor the 1984 Olympic gold medalist he is in the white and Brazier in the gray trunks at 17 years of age Taylor was the youngest of the Olympic boxing champions for the United States winning the gold in the 126 pound featherweight division and as a pro he's going as a lightweight in the 135 pound division Those of you who have uh, trouble with color perception, Melvin Taylor has a black stripe on his trunk and Taylor written across the front. Razor has help written across the front of his as a request. All right, the uh, Taylor corner did not like the warning for the referee lefty uh, Barrera. Right now, this uh, fight is as anticipated, Taylor coming out with his fast flashing attack and the veteran just waiting to drop that right hand, waiting for the young kid to begin to tire out. Of course, we've seen Melvin Taylor. He doesn't take to tire out too much. He just keeps going like this continuously. For those of you who are with our first fight, it's sort of like Frankie Warren. He just gets warmed up and puts it in gear. 
Well, Fraser told you the other day that he feels he has the defensive overlay and stamina to go up against a uh, Meldrick Taylor. Well, it's different when you get in the ring with the uh, punches coming from all angles and they're so fast you can't block them. That's what's happening right now to this veteran, Brazier, who has uh, just taken the charge of Meldrick without really putting any hurt on him. Half minute left. Round two. Scheduled for ten. Meldrick Taylor has very fast hands. Likes to mix it up on the inside, but can also be effective long range. Major flaw, he does take too many punches. Uh, he can't afford to take uh, this veteran's right hand because he does have a heavy right hand. Of um, Harold Brazier. Very calm, cool corner, as you pointed out. I think he needs to get a quart of Lou Duva's blood in him because <laughs> if it's anything, he's going to have to steam this better enough to start fighting. He's falling back yet another round. It's only two. And again, the judges have gone with a 10-9 uh, count in favor of Taylor. All three. With the 10-9 scorecard, that's the same as the opening round. And that is the total over two rounds. Well, I don't think there's anybody that's judging fights that can judge it any other way. Meldrick is out speeding him, the veteran waiting for his punch. And they're screaming from Taylor's corner to turn him. You saw that pivot move by Taylor turning Razor right to him. Harold Brazier's last fight this past February in Indianapolis. He stopped Ken Snyder in the seventh round. Brazier began his career back in 1982. He's never been knocked down in 41 professional bouts. Brazier had a, a lackluster amateur career, and then he struggled in his early pro days, fighting opponents anywhere from 130 pounds up to 154, even 160. There's Lou Duva in the corner of uh, Melbourne Taylor. That's not the way to slowly build your record. And uh, Brazier did get off to a very slow start as a pro, but has come on with uh, 20 straight victories going into today. Well, what you're looking at here is the caterpillar and the um, butterfly. The butterfly is uh, a man that doesn't have to pay his dues and comes in at the very top level of the game and that certainly was Taylor with his Olympic gold and a man that's been down in the earth grubbing around and is just finally making it is Harold Brazier. Father of four and still has a full-time job while he's resting boxing. Taylor successfully pounding the body of Harold Brazier. And again, the instructions from the corner of Taylor to turn Brazier around. That's called controlling the bout. Take your opponent, keep turning him. And Brazier comes out of the cover-up with a flurry as this third round concludes. 